Hi YouTubers, this is Brick Brick coming at you on March 21st, 2016. You'll have to excuse the background noise. My daughter's playing with pretend food. She's being a good girl and putting it away. And I have my dishwasher going, so um, I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. But anyways, um, I just wanted to do, well, since my, my um, one month anniversary is coming up, I wanted to do what I'm eating at one month out. And I wanted to show you guys everything that I eat. I don't eat all these in a day, but they are things that I can indulge in and do indulge in. Um, depending on how tight my sleeve is or how tight my esophagus is that day, um, some of these things I can eat, some of these things I can't, and certain amounts, and blah, 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 blah. So, I just wanted to go over really quick what I can eat when I can't for people who are interested. So, let's drive right into it. Of course, I have my Truvia, which is Stevia sweetener. Um, this is going to be, sorry, this is going to be fun throughout the video, of making sure everything's focused. So, this is Stevia, um, and that's, I, eat, I put that in, like, tea and stuff like that. Um, I make these tuna creations. These are really great. Everybody probably has heard of them because they have so much protein in them. They're only two and a half ounces each, 2.6. Um, and they have 16 grams of protein and one gram of carbs. This is the garlic herb, which I made today. And then you can see they have the kids ones, which are a little bit funner as far as flavors are concerned. You got bacon ranch and then this lemon pepper is an adult one. Um, they're, the, the kids ones are a little higher in calories, but I'm only eating half a pack of these. So I don't care about calories. Um, I'm not even getting to 800. Yesterday I hit 300, which is bad. <laughs> so I eat sardines. Yes, I know. Um, it's, but they have 18 grams of protein and no carbs. And I can actually eat probably this whole tin. They're only three and a half ounce, three and a half ounces. I'm yeah, half the tin, small tins. I can eat the whole thing. So 18 grams of protein, no carbs. That's why I eat them. Um, I don't think they taste that bad, but that's just me. I'm weird. I also eat, you know, liverwurst when I buy it. So, um, I use this in my yogurt. It's Purvia Stevia sweetener. It's vanilla. I use it in my yogurt. Works really well in yogurt. So, I buy plain yogurt and I use that to sweeten it. I use the Omega Jif, um, Omega 3 Jif, and then it has, um, I told you this whole video I'm going to be focusing this freaking phone. Um, it has 7 grams of protein. I wonder if me turning on this light will help. Maybe. Um, it has seven grams of protein and six grams of carbs and two tablespoons. I don't I don't eat peanut butter like a crazy person. I don't like peanut butter that much, so I have like half a teaspoon when I want when I want some, and that's pretty much where I leave it at. Um, chia seeds, I've got a big old thing of it. I use it in chia seed pudding, which I will tell you about in a second. Really easy to make if you guys are on your first like couple weeks out and you need your own puddings and stuff like that. Um, chia seed pudding is a really great way to get protein in, and it has no carbs in it, so um, you know, if they're really good, go ahead and try them. Um, this bag was like six bucks, so, uh, it's not horrible. You can get expensive if you want to. I drink, um, I eat my chicken noodle soup. I like chicken noodle soup. It goes down really easy. I don't usually get things this big, but I figured, you know, why not? I can save half of it. So these have like nine grams of carbs and three grams of protein in them. So pretty high on the carbs, but as long as it's under 10, I'm okay with it. Um, besides, I'm really not eating much, so it doesn't really harm me that much. Not enough protein, but, you know, what can you do? I'm really into these buys right now. I love them. I like the coconut one. I tried some of the other flavors, and they're either too sweet or too tart. And as you can see, they only have one gram of carb in it. The erythritol is a sugar alcohol, which doesn't really do what other sugars do, so it doesn't really count. And they're 10 calories a bottle. So I like these. It's a good way for me to get more fluids in. Um, I drink, I fill up, I use these bottles over and over again, and I fill them up three times. As you can see, it's a little foggy because I add lemon juice to it. Nothing sweet, just lemon juice, just to give it a, a bit of a taste. So, um, this is my tuna. I have mentioned before, I use these little tiny containers. I bought them at the dollar store. You get them in packs of like four or five or something. They're two ounces each, and as you can see, I put a little tiny dollop of mayonnaise in it. Like, maybe half a teaspoon of mayonnaise. And I'll show you. I have a ton of those little tiny cups. I will try to not show you my top cabinet because my top cabinet has a boob. Oops. Okay. You didn't see that. Um, okay, so moving on. I This is my chia seed pudding I wanted to show you guys. This is about two ounces. Um, I, I don't know if I'll be able to eat more. I haven't really indulged in it yet. So this is chia seed pudding. As you can see, it's very thick. Um, it's very thick and it is about the consistency of tapioca pudding so and it's um full of protein full of protein lots of coconut milk the recipes are very simple you can look them up online 
I made the coconut kind, so I used coconut milk. I used coconut flakes, unsweetened coconut flakes. I used that almond coconut, almond milk stuff I have, and then I used some um, Truvia sweetener, and then vanilla extract. And that's pretty much it. And you just let it sit for like overnight, and then you're good. Smooth Mood Tea, which you'll hear about from many people. I know I'm not going to be the first or the last. Um, it has senna syrup in it, which is what I take, which is, sorry, which is what I take um, for a laxative. So when I found out it had senna syrup, I had to buy it because I am almost out of senna syrup. And this is the really, um, really mild laxative. It works really well, but it doesn't really mess up your stuff. I don't know what. It's just really good. So I like that stuff. Okay, moving right along. I'm going to take you to my to my fridge, which you'll see tons of children's stuff on because I have a child. Okay, um, so as you can see, these are sugar-free jello or puddings, I mean, sorry, <laughs> jellos um, that we make. This is like a quarter cup. So we make those every week or every couple of days. Um, these are my husband's. I eat the Faye. Um, plain plain yogurt. I like it the best out of everything. I have Trevani and all that stuff, but I like this the most. It's like smooth. Um, I don't really indulge in this this much. Spinach or chip dip, but my husband does, and it only has like one gram of carb in it. So he he likes that stuff. I really can't choke it down yet. There's more tuna things. Um, more uh, more of those um, chia seed pudding things. Um, you can see the coconut milk I used to make the chia seed stuff. Yeah, full fat, by the way. Um, my premier proteins, I drink one or two of those a day. My daughter has some strawberries. Veronica, please go play. Um, then, of course, my eggs. I have to have eggs. Like, I eat half an egg a day, and my daughter eats an egg a day, and we like eggs. So, eggs go through in this house. I'm actually probably going to be going to a farm from now on and buying eggs because I've been looking, but the winter is really not the easiest thing to go out and get eggs from a farm. So in the summer and spring and fall, it's a lot easier to go get eggs. So I won't have to buy them at the store anymore. Um, my husband eats these. Oh, excuse me. Um, thank you, baby. My husband eats these, nine grams of protein and like eight grams of carbs or six or something. I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter. I can't eat them anyways. I, I, I don't, I just think they're good. Let's see. It's uh, eight minus 14. So that's six grams of carbs per thing. So... Not bad, not bad. These are really good when you can finally eat bread. <laughs> when you can finally have stuff like that. Um, chicken for my husband, cottage cheese. I don't really eat too much cottage cheese because it doesn't sit good. Um, my daughter's stuff. And then, of course, my almond breeze milk, my daughter's vitamin D milk, which I don't indulge in very frequently, and then apple juice for my daughter. Um, also, as you can see, I just use lemon juice in my water. We have salsa, of course. Bolt House, Chunky Blue Cheese. I got some more of my drink there. Um, my Powerade down below, which I haven't really been drinking much. Um, I eat these very constantly. They're guacamole and they're little mini things. I would just buy an avocado, but whenever I go to the store, they always have the ones that take a week to ripen. So that's what I get for going on a Sunday at like 7 o'clock at night. This is something we found, sugar-free barbecue sauce, hickory flavoring. They have different kinds of flavors and stuff like this, but this... Um, let's see. Only has two grams of carbs. No protein. Who cares? It's barbecue sauce. Not supposed to have protein in it. But sugar-free. That's really good. So we will try this and see how it tastes. And if you guys care, I'll let you know. Mustard is always a good choice for dipping when you cannot have any carbs. And then my husband just found this stuff, which is my husband's stuff. I'm not going to eat it. It's called the Work Brat Sauce. It's got mustard, onion, tomato, and kraut in it. And it's got six grams of carbs, I believe. Let me have this focus. There we go. Six grams of carbs, which is quite a bit for only one tablespoon. But we only eat about one tablespoon. And when you're not getting carbs anywhere else, then you can choose to have it other places. Hold on. Let me drag my daughter away. Okay. So that's that's my video on what I eat, you guys. Um, that's what I eat. So far, everything's going really well. And um, some days are better than others. My water, for example, that sucks some days. And some days it doesn't. So... Okay, so I will talk to you guys later and um, in a couple of days when I have my one-month update. So have a great day, guys, and talk to you soon. Bye.